In this lecture, you will learn how to chain promises. Here, we have quote from our previous lecture. And here, if you notice, as I mentioned in previous lecture, this fetch API returns a promise. And we are storing that promise in a variable promise1. Now, on that promise1, we are calling this then method and then we are executing this callback function. And from within this callback function, we are returning another promise. Okay, so this response.json will return a promise. And we are storing that promise in a variable promise2. But instead of doing it like this, we can directly call this then method on this fetch API because we know that this fetch API is going to return a promise. Similarly, we know that this response.json is going to return a promise. That means from this then method, we are going to return a promise. So instead of storing that promise in a variable and then calling this then method on that promise, what we can do is we can directly call it on that then method. So let me rewrite this code again. Let's copy this and let's also comment this here. And let's rewrite the same function. And here we are not going to store the promises in a variable. All right. So first we want to make an Ajax call using this fetch API. Now this fetch API is going to return us a promise. And on that promise, we want to call this then method when that promise gets resolved. All right. So what we can do is we can simply say then and let's remove this semicolon from here. So what we are doing here is this fetch will return a promise. And when that promise is resolved, we want to execute this then method. We want to execute the callback function of this then method. So we are now calling this then on that promise which this fetch has returned. All right. And inside this then method, we have passed this callback function. And this callback function is also going to return a promise. Okay. And on that promise, when that promise gets resolved, we want to call another then method on that promise. So we can do it like this. Okay. So let's understand this again. We have called this fetch API and we have passed this URL to get some data from the server. Now this fetch API is going to return us a promise. And on that promise, we are using this then method. So when that promise gets resolved, this then method will be executed. Okay. And we have passed a callback function, which will get executed when the promise is resolved. And from this callback function, we are returning another promise. Now, I didn't mention this in our previous lecture, but remember that a then method also returns a promise. All right. So if we are not returning any value in that case, then method will return a promise. So here we are returning a promise from this then method. And when that promise is resolved, we want to call another then method on that on that promise. And we are chaining this then method for that promise. So here, if you notice, we have a chain of then methods. So we have a chain of promises here. All right. So now if I save the changes, it should work as it was working before. So still we have information related to United States, Germany and Brazil. All right. Now what we want to do here is we want the information related to these countries appear in a specific sequence. So first we want information related to United States, then Germany and then Brazil. Okay. But currently if I refresh the page, the order in which they are appearing might change. All right. So currently we don't have a control on in which sequence these the information related to these countries will appear. All right. So as you can see here, now we have United States and then Brazil and then Germany. Okay. But we want these informations to be in a specific sequence. First, we want information related to USA and then Germany and then Brazil. So let's see how to do that by chaining the promises. So the first thing which we are going to do is we are going to remove this country parameter. And since we want 
the information of USA first. I'm going to hard code that value here. So USA. Now this fetch method is going to return us the data related to. I mean, it is going uh, going to return us a response in the form of a promise. On that promise, when that promise is resolved, we are calling this then method. And inside the callback function of this then method, we are returning the body of that response and it will also be a promise now when we have the body of the response we are storing it in this data parameter and then we are passing it to this display country detail function right so here we have the data now now once we have the data related to united states of america we want to make another call another ajax call in order to get the data related to Germany. So we are going to do this from within this callback function. So let's copy this fetch from here and let's call. Let's make another Ajax call and this time we want to get data related to Germany. So Germany. And once again this fetch API is going to return a promise. So once that promise is resolved, we want to execute this then method. Okay, and to this then method, we will pass another callback function. Okay, and again, let's say we are going to receive this, receive the uh, result which this promise has returned into this data variable. All right. And now the next thing which we want to do is this fetch is going to return us a response. And from that response, we want to get the body of that response. Okay. So again, I'm going to take this, I mean, copy this and I'm going to use it here. Okay. So from that data, let's call it response itself. Okay. So from this response, we want to get the body. And again, we are going, we are using this JSON uh, method to get the body of this response. So again, it is going to return another promise. And when that promise is returned and resolved, we want to call another then function. And inside this then function, let's specify the callback function. So function. And this time, this promise will have the data, right? So let's call it data. And now what we want to do is we want to call this display country detail function and we want to pass that data which we have received from this response.json. That means from the body of the response, we want to pass it to this display country detail function. And then we want to display those, you know, uh, those details in our web page. So let's copy this. And let's use it here. All right. Now let's call this get country info function once. And we are not going to pass any parameter because now this function is not expecting any parameter. Let's save the changes. And here we have information related to United States of America, but we don't have information related to Germany. So let's see what's the problem here. Okay, the problem here is we are not returning this promise which is returned by this fetch function, I mean fetch API. So we have to return it. All right. And once we return the promise which this fetch API has returned, then only on that we can call this then method. So now let's save the changes. And here now we have information related to Germany. And if I refresh the page, you will notice that the sequence is not changing no matter how many times I refresh the web page. Okay, so here we have chained the promises. Now, we also want to get the data of Brazil and the data of Brazil should appear only after we have the data related to Germany. All right. So again, from within this callback function of this then method, we are going to make another ajax call so let me copy this fetch again and let's make another ajax call and this time we want to get data related to brazil all right 
and let's also return the promise which this fetch API will return. Okay, so this fetch API is going to return a promise and that promise will contain the response. So when this promise is resolved, we want to execute another than method. And let's pass a callback function here as well. Okay, and we know that we are going to get a response and from that response we want to get the uh, data related to Brazil and that data will be present in the body of the response which this fetch API is going to return. So again we are going to make use of this response.json. Okay, so let's first specify the parameter for this callback function and inside this let's use this return response.json so this time again this response.json is going to return a promise and that promise will contain the information related to brazil okay so on that promise we want to call another than method okay so when that promise is resolved it will call this then method and it will execute the callback function of this then method and here we simply want to call this display country details so let's copy this let's use it here and let's also pass you know specify the parameter to this callback function and that's it let's save the changes and we should have information related to brazil as well and if i refresh the page you know the sequence is not going to change this time because here we have chained the ajax calls using chaining of promises and here you can see we are chaining these then methods okay so this is what chaining of promises is now you might say we are still using callback functions here well you will never get rid of callback functions but here we don't have a callback hell right we are not having a callback hell we have a flat uh, calls to the callback functions okay we don't have a callback function inside other callback function inside other callback function we simply have a flat uh, execution of callback functions so this is how we can avoid callback hell using chaining of promises in our code now before i wrap up let me show you one more thing and many beginners make this mistake so here let me rewrite this function again in order to show you what i'm talking about so let's copy this okay and let's let me paste it here and let's let me, let me remove all these codes from here okay so what many beginners do is this fetch is going to return us a promise so on this fetch i can call this then method directly okay and then we are going to specify the callback function all right so here we have response and we want to return response.json okay and this is going to return a promise now what many beginners do is since this is also going to return a promise they will simply use then method on this promise okay and then specify the callback function data and then the logic inside this so here we want to call this function and let's pass data zero now if you are doing it in this way then you are again introducing callback hell in your program okay because now if i make another fetch call fetch api call here then again i will use another then on this okay and from this again want to return response.json 
all right and again this is going to return me a promise and on that again i'm going to use this then so here i'm again introducing a callback hell because now again we have a callback inside another callback inside another callback and this is the mistake most beginners make so make sure that you use then on another then like we are doing here okay so first we are getting a promise from this fetch on that we are using this then method and from this then method we are returning the promise which this response.json will return okay and on that then method i am using another then so here we have a flat callback executions flat uh, call to these then methods but in this example if you see we have then inside another then inside another then right and here we have again introduced a callback hell so this is the mistake made by most javascript beginners so just keep this in mind all right so this is all about chaining promises in javascript and in this way we have achieved what we wanted to achieve you know we wanted to display the information related to different countries in a given sequence okay and here we have achieved this without introducing a callback hell in our program if you like this lecture like this video subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends